Hey guys, this is Matthias, and I'm coming at you here with another Pulsar C video. And as so many times before, it starts with me flying a site. So it's quite late, and this video is going to be rather long, around 20 minutes. I'm not really sure until I've finished it. Yeah, it's gonna be solo play, and um, I'm a tiny bit tired. It's been a busy day, and we have just defeated Miller in the server smash. So I see another Mossy down below, and before I uh, engage, I take a quick peek to the left where it's most likely that the other Mossies can engage from, since that's the direction of the TR Warp Gate. Uh, this Mossy is taking a lot of flak, and I was able to finish him off quite easily, but now I have been spotted by his wingman, and there are at least three of them. And I didn't know it when I turned around, but uh, this is a fight I just can't win. I'm able to get this first one pretty low, and he fires suppressed and maneuvered away, and now I'm being chased. So I tried to bring them over the NC Arsenal here, because I noticed before that we had some flak here, and once I was in the right location, I bravely sacrificed my sight for the sake of Vanu. So I end up here at the, the B point that has been flipped by the TR, and I just join in the fight. So I actually quickly died to a grenade, but I was revived by Angel Turel or something, and uh, sorry about that team kill. I hope the same medic is still around. So I have the Drifter Jets here, and uh, those jetpacks are not much use in this fight. Take the stairs up, quickly pick off this uh, light assault, and uh, unfortunately that heavy was able to get away, but at least I get to the point here, and I start flipping it. So now I'm gonna let you hear the uh, Vanu versions of some of the Halloween voice packs. See, I was able to refill my ammo and I decided to leave this choke point and get up the elevator. And yeah, obviously this elevator is bugged because, I mean, otherwise I wouldn't uh, need to use it twice to get up, right? Now, the Pulsar Seed that I'm using is my most used carbine. It's actually my most used infantry weapon and it's definitely my favorite out of all weapons that I've used in Planet Side 2 so far. I have plenty of more videos with uh, this weapon and I will post a link in the description to my Pulsar C playlist. I will also link you a couple of videos with the uh, NC equivalent, which is the Razer GD23, and the Terran equivalent, which is the T5 AMC. So there are a few light assaults that are trying to get up here uh, on top of B, and uh, they're coming from the northeast here, where they have their Sunderer. And I'm um, trying to get to it, but yeah, I'm picking these guys off first as I go along, as much as I can. So yeah, quickly just uh, lower the render distance to a uh, minimum, which is 500. And I'm able to pick this guy off at quite long range. Not exactly sure how far away it is. If anyone has the time to measure it, maybe post a screenshot, then feel free. I'm not going to do it myself this time, but I actually have a video uh, where I cover range. And uh, I'll link that video also in the description. Holy shit. It's all about links. That's the funny thing. I have so many videos of this game. And people always ask me questions, do you have this, do you have that, and uh, many times I do, it's just that by now it's uh, starting to get a little bit hard to find whatever you're looking for. That's one of the reasons why I try to link uh, the relevant, uh, or some of the relevant videos um, in the description of each video. So there is the Sunderer, finally, and it's going down, this fight is about to end, and uh, before, yeah, before it's over I just jump down here on a little bit of a suicide mission. Yeah, after checking out a couple of bases that was basically just camped, I found my way here to our Rexicom network hub. I'm playing engineer here initially, but uh, yeah, I decided to quickly switch back to Light Assault again. I've been playing Light Assault on this base before, and uh, one of my longer T5AMC videos is actually going to be from this very base. Here's another thing that I want to mention also. 
Once you can see the shimmering of a cloaked infiltrator, when you shoot at him, he will become more visible with each bullet, and that's what happens here. I shoot him uh, and I hit him with a few bullets and then I'm able to pick him off just because I can finally see where exactly he is. Now after taking a lot of damage from that uh, light assault up on the rooftop, I decided to switch to light assault myself. And yeah, it's worth mentioning maybe even though most people know it by now, but the engineer class and the light assault class share weapons. You have carbines for both classes and it's the same attachments as well. Now the attacking Terrans are flooding in from uh, at least one or well, probably several Sunders here to the south, uh, southeast. Uh, it's quite close to the actual capture point and to the buildings. So uh, one of the things you can do as light assault is get up on the rooftop here and uh, slow down the reinforcements uh, as they are trying to flood in and uh, capture the base. Now the heart of the battle, so to speak, is of course right below me now, and if you're one of those players who prefer to be in that kind of a fight, then I would recommend any other class than the Light Assault class. If killing is what you want to do and the only thing you want to focus on, then I would recommend the Heavy, heavy Assault class, but uh, the support classes such as Medic and Engineer are also very important, especially the Medic class. You normally just need one Engineer unless you need Engineers for repairs. Aside from that, the engineers are mostly important for their ammo drops and also sometimes the turrets. But ammo, you only need one engineer normally for that, unless uh, there is a very very big fight and unless uh, the enemies are coming in from uh, multiple directions. Holy shit, Hellfire rocket pods. That guy must be swimming in search. Better get my ass down from the rooftop. Yeah, I didn't expect that friendly to run right into my grenade. Funny with grenades is that many times it's really hard to tell exactly where they are. Now, there are many things about grenades that is really buggy and strange with Planetside 2. Anyway, I land on this little ledge here in order to regen a little bit of jump jet fuel or whatever I was running out there. And I gotta admit I'm a little bit indecisive of what is the best position here right now. There are mosses above. There are also plenty of tanks around from this east and southeast uh, direction. So I'm a bit overly careful here because I'm also uncertain of whether or not this uh, Terran player has an additional spawn point in another location and uh, I might be flanked. So at this point in time I'm actually running a bit low on ammo again and unfortunately I waste a lot of it on that mosquito that I didn't hit and now I only have 17 bullets left which is going to be enough to pick that guy off but uh, yeah. That's it.
so now before I get back up on the rooftop I just want to quickly get uh, some ammo and uh, sometimes it can be surprisingly hard to find luckily not this time though Yeah, I'm cutting out some of the respawns and all that stuff. I guess it's not all that interesting running back uh, from the spawn room to this uh, rooftop. And uh, this is one of the bugs that's really irritating. You see how the rooftop actually blocks the bullets a lot more than it actually should. And I, I had the same problem when I played here before and yeah, I should know. But yeah, it was, it was a couple of months ago and I just got reminded of it here. So yeah, after a while the battle kind of changed a little bit and uh, we were able to push them away from the base and I decided to go out uh, on these hills that are kind of north of uh, the base and they keep going east. And normally there are plenty of uh, snipers camping these uh, hilltops and uh, yeah, there, there could be a variety of enemies here. Harassers can get up here and of course you're vulnerable to air and if you're fighting against Vanu you might also uh, encounter a couple of mag riders up here. Yeah, I thought I would have that sniper, but it wasn't meant to be. I'm a little bit surprised he wasn't able to land that shot, because I did hit him with a few bullets, and that should uh, throw his aim off. I suppose he wasn't using Battle Hardened. On the other hand, though, with the delay and uh, the lag in Plaza 2, maybe he actually killed me on his screen before I hit him.
and it's the same fucking clown again. Yeah, I should have popped the restoration kit earlier, and in that situation, a med kit would actually be better. Now, here you can tell the disadvantage of having a mid range weapon in a close range situation. My aim was a few, pixel a few pixels too low, actually. I just still keep uh, recoil compensating a little bit too much. Unfortunately, I didn't pay attention there. I was about to be revived there, but yeah, I spawned in instead. And I would have been back in the fight a few seconds faster if I would have taken the revive, but yeah, what can you do? So yeah, I'm a little bit indecisive here later on when uh, I'm, I'm thinking that this is not the best base for light assault. And I'm uh, very tempted to spawn my heavy assault uh, loadout here with the SVA-88. But uh, since I had uh, quite a lot of uh, Pulse C gameplay already, I wanted to keep uh, recording, uh, which is why I kept playing Light Assault. But you'll see that it's actually there are actually some bases where indoor Light Assault works pretty well. And uh, yeah, I'll show you that in this, in this fight here. Now, uh, later on I did switch to the uh, SVA-88 and I played some more heavy, but that is... Uh, recordings for another video. We've successfully defended the facility. Yeah, out of ammo, and uh, yeah, I gotta say that kill streaks like this normally doesn't happen against experienced players. That's that's just it. But you gotta realize also this is Planetside 2. It's not Counter Strike. No problem. Yeah, it's quite useful to have the voice of IP activated. Uh, there's a the proximity chat is quite useful actually. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people that um, misuse it, but uh, correctly used and moderately used, it's uh, very helpful. So yeah, this ended up being a 19 some such minutes long video, and I hope you enjoyed it. I will say thank you all for watching, and bye for now.